What's up guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we have some absolutely amazing ponds on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description. Make sure to check out our sponsors, Jimmy Goldfish and Star Fisheries. Also, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to have a look on the website for lots of helpful and informative tips on keeping fancies. And also check out the Instagram and the Facebook group. So today is another episode of Tank Tours, but this is going to be a pond version. The first pond version we had seemed to go really, really well, so I thought, why not, let's do another one. So I believe we've got about four ponds on the channel today. As you may notice, I'm in a completely different sort of filming environment. I've sort of changed up a little bit. I'm trying something a little bit different. Let me know what you think down below. If you like the new sort of hanging chair style video, then let me know, but if not, I'll go back onto the sofa. So without further ado, I'm gonna get all of these ponds on the screen, give a little bit of a sort of talk about them and give them an overall rating. As with all of the Rate My Tank episodes, there is no hatred, there is no abuse, there is always many different ways to keep our fancy goldfish and if people can show that they have a different method that works for them, then they completely advocate that. So without further ado, let's get them on the video. So this is the first pond that we have on the video today, the first of four that I'm going to be showing you. Now we can't actually see the top bird's eye view of the pond or the surroundings, so in this video it's going to be slightly different as there are slightly more underwater shots compared to previous episodes, but we can see there's quite a lot of fancy goldfish in here. But we cannot say this tank or this pond is overstocked because we do not know the full volume and dimensions of it. It looks like this pond goes quite away into the distance and potentially could be maybe six, eight, ten foot long. We just don't know. The fish look quite active and they look to be swimming around quite often. We can also see, which I quite like in the center, is this stone bowl with some plant substrate in it. This looks to be holding some Amazon swords and some Valisneria, which obviously gives the fish a little bit of natural habitat to hide in, swim and take cover in and also potentially if that soil isn't too compacted then obviously they can sift through that and I'm sure over time there will be lots of natural insects, some bloodworm for example, that they can dig out and they will be able to do some more natural behaviors. Also, what I really like to see is this pond is quite mature. As we can see, the walls are lined with algae and this gives the fish a constant grazing throughout the day so they can eat lots of natural algae and get some good quality food within their system. Now, the algae will be full of fiber and help with their digestive system alongside the addition of a high quality pellet or gel food that the owner should be providing as well. At the end it looks like we have some kind of inflow into the pond potentially the filter outlet which is providing some oxygenation and lots of surface movement to provide these fish with a rich oxygen environment now we can see there's lots of different varieties in this pond we've got some calicos we've got some red and whites we've got some bubble eyes some aranda I think there's a more in the left hand corner and some ranchu as well. And overall, I really like the mixed diversity in this pond. Potentially, I'd like maybe some more plants, maybe a little bit more natural style. And it would be nice to see the overall look and the filters as well, as it would be interesting to see how this pond is filtered with such a high number of fish. Overall, I'm going to give this pond a 3.9 out of 5 stars. So next up, as you can see, we have this absolutely lovely planted jungle style goldfish pond. I really like the use of the grow lights over the top of the system and I absolutely love the dense foliage around this system which is covering the plastic pond or plastic bowl so to say and the real use of plants here has broken up those boundaries between sort of man-made and nat nature and natural style and it is inside as well we can also see there are a multitude of plants within the water itself looks like we've got some anubias in the back corner 
and some Elodia, which will be providing oxygenation. I assume all of the riparian plants around the system have their roots within the water somehow and are providing nitrate removal and also increasing the water quality at the same time. It looks to be on the left there is some kind of filtration which is providing a constant feed into the pond and adding some extra oxygen. It looks like we've got quite a nice range of mixed fancy goldfish here. It looks like we might have some shabumpkins, some aranda, potentially some common goldfish and although at second glance it looks like there might be quite a lot of fish in this pond but the addition of all of those plants and the real care that the owner has put into this setup means that you can keep a higher stock level with regular maintenance and an abundance of plants it means that water quality can be kept in tip-top condition lots of oxygen going in from the waterfall return and overall i really love the natural style look that the owner has brought from nature inside their home overall i'm going to give this pond a 4.2 out of 5 stars potentially i would add some more air stones or increase that level of oxygen within the pond and that would be probably the only change i would make to this so next up we have this really nice little ranchu pond well little i say because you can't see too much and this pond is going to be a good instance of why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover now this pond looks very small from first glance we've got three ranchu in here and it looks to be quite a small sort of outdoor planted system but at the end of this clip you will see why we shouldn't judge others and others fish and aquariums or ponds by the initial look of a video or photo. Now, I really love the addition of the water lettuce and it looks to be water hyacinth in the top right corner, as well as a bit of salvinia mixed in there by the looks of it. I'm really liking the use of plants in these systems. These plants are really good at stripping out CO2 from the water, adding oxygen, as well as increasing the water quality. There's a really nice algae carpet on the sides of the pond, which will provide fish with a constant grazing throughout the day so if they aren't being fed as you can see they're being fed now they have a constant supply of food as well as some natural insects to eat throughout the day as well now i really like the fact that this pond is more of a natural style i find the natural style ponds have better water quality and actually better fish health although potentially they aren't as good as growing fish as they can potentially have more dirt and detritus in they seem to have such a better water quality compared to an aquarium now we can really see the full size of this pond and just look how big it is for those fish it doesn't look like there is many fish in this system and i actually absolutely love the use of those waterfalls which are flowing back into the pond and the planted system overall i'm going to give this pond a 4.3 out of 5 stars absolutely loved it finally we have the absolutely amazing pond from keith s sorry we've had this pond featured on the channel before but this one has a slightly different video to it and we're actually going to be seeing underwater into this fish pond as i previously mentioned this is one of if not my favorite outdoor ranchu and fancy goldfish pond the abundance of different plants that riparian vegetation creeping in breaks those lines from nature and man-made all into one and it really has a natural jungle style to it i love how the pond has been carefully managed there has been a clear thought into what plants go where and it is not too messy and disturbed if that makes sense the plants have been specifically placed in each location to provide benefits to the pond and keeping the system nice and clean as well here we can see the underwater shot which is actually one of my favorites i absolutely love underwater shots and we can see a huge range of fancy goldfish throughout this pond they have so many natural algae to pick on it looks like there might be some water snails in there that they can eat as well i'm sure there's plenty of insects and insect larvae for these fish to eat whilst they're not eating pellets fed by the owner but i absolutely love this underwater jungle there is so much natural cover and protection for them there are so many areas for them to sift through and naturally graze throughout the day and we are really bringing in the modern day fancy goldfish keeping alongside a more natural style keeping method so the fish are really getting best of both worlds here they're getting that natural high quality water filtration from those plants and the filter on this pond and then they're also getting their water changes and their 
high level of feeding throughout the day from the owner himself. So absolutely love this pond, one of my favorites. Really like the different shots as well the owner has put together and they clearly are enjoying the sunny weather. So overall, I'm gonna give this pond a 4.9 out of five stars. Not quite a five, but I absolutely love it. Amazing pond. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you took some inspiration of the ponds that we had on the video today. If you want to see more of this type of video, let me know in that comment section. And also if you've got any video suggestions, also let me know down below. If you guys want to have your pond or your setup featured on the channel, then you can send me an email at fancygoldfishfanatics at gmail.com and we can get that on the channel for you. So as always, Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.